I can't be effective in the kingdom. Does that make sense? Yes. If I am not connected to the king, then I cannot be effective in the kingdom. Uh, one of the prime examples that we have as it relates to prayer and devotion is none other than Jesus himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, from the time that he rose to the time he went to sleep, he faced some, th he faced some pressures, yeah. some responsibilities. He had to address crowds. He had to heal the sick. He had to cast out demons. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. He, he had to travel. Come on. He ain't have no back bus. He ain't had no four-wheel drive. He ain't had none that. But when he was traveling, he was traveling on what? On foot. Yes. Yeah. And not only did he have to do that, he had to train the disciples. Come on. He didn't have leadership summits, y'all. He didn't have revivals. He didn't have all of these different things. So from the time he got up, from the time he went to sleep, he had a whole day of ministry. Yeah. See, we think as leaders, ministry is just when the church doors are open and we huck and we shuck and we, 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 we bounce around and we cry and we snot and all that stuff. Oh, we had a fine time in the Lord. That is just the smallest part of ministry. Yes, ministry is once your feet hit the side of that bed because Jesus never, ever eliminated prayer. He knew that early in the morning will I rise and seek your face. Yes. He understood that. Amen. He had prayer as his top priority. You can write down Mark 1 and 35 if you don't believe me. And in the, the, the morning, in the a.m., rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there he prayed. He knew he could not go out without power. Could not go out. Amen. See, he didn't have a, a, a whole bunch of just set up engagements. Yes. He never knew what he was going to go face. You hear me? He didn't get no calls. He didn't get no texts. He didn't get no Facebook. Could you come and speak? Could you come and preach? Amen. Nevertheless, there had to be a preparation. Yes. True leadership. We have to be prepared to go out. Amen. So from the time our, our feet hit that floor to the time our head lays in that bed, we don't know what is in front of us. So he wasn't going forth without power. He had to be equipped to uh, contend with the demonic forces and those who were afflicted with sickness. So he had to be equipped to preach the word with power. So it was necessary for him to refuel and recharge. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. So prayer and devotion time is where we as leaders, we get our fresh oil. Yes. We get our fresh anointing. Yes. Amen? We, we, we can't contend with these new devils with old anointing, y'all. Amen. Amen? Amen? Prayer shifts our mind out of the natural realm of <coughs> impossibilities. <coughs> And should catapult us into a place or the spiritual realm of all things are possible with God. Amen. That's effective leadership. In a place that I know that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I can ask or think. But I need to get that when my feet hit the floor. Amen. Amen. Because there are going to be some impossible situations that I face throughout the day. And if I'm not operating in the spiritual realm, yeah. I'll feel defeated. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't have the mind of victory. I won't yeah. have the mind of more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. Because the weights of the world will, will weigh on me so heavy that it'll stop me in my tracks. Mm -hmm. So prayer and devotion prepares us for the oncoming warfare. Mm -hmm. yeah. A part of prayer is adoration, is, is, is worship. Yes. Amen? Is worship. Yes. So when you when you wake up and you're warring in the spirit realm, you're slaying demons before they even come up against you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Prayer and devotion is a lifestyle. Yes, yes. yes. It equips the leader and makes the leader ready to be used of the Lord. Because they're prepared to flow in the spirit. 
just like Jesus powered up. He was prepared to flow in the spirit. He was prepared to preach. He was prepared to teach. He was prepared to lay hands and, and, and heal the sick. He was prepared to cast out demonic forces. He was prepared. He didn't have to say, wait a minute. Let me go pray. Well, come on now. I started out my day like this. So now I can go forth with power. Yeah. Amen? Come on, as leaders, and I see a great falling away uh, in the kingdom of God, and this great falling away, and I'll say this because we have not positioned ourselves to get what we need first thing in the morning. Yeah. So when that spirit of, of, of for 